brilliant to get that into. Hello and welcome to that philosophical note. Uh, <laughs> this this uh, Dungeons and Dragons live stream with final boss fight. My name is John and I am joined by Tanny Dragon. Hello. Sean. What? Yes. Uh, Kaboom. Hello. And Ben again. Hello. And we are here to finally continue the adventures of the Tomb of Annihilation. It's been a Huzzah. thousand years. It's oh. been about a month. Uh, I went away on holiday, and so we skipped a session, and that kind of... It, knocks th it has a knock-on effect. Um, yeah, yes. I, I completely forgotten who what I was doing. I completely forgotten who I was. I and I find myself on the map. <laughs> and that's why I'm about to do a recap. Sweet. Uh, when last we saw these guys, um, you are exploring the Tomb of Annihilation. You've managed to get inside, which is a good start. Oh boy. Um. You descended down to the lower level, or one of the lower levels, and then have come back up onto the surface level. Uh, you explored around a little bit and found a uh, trapped statue that magnetically drew any metal towards it, uh, losing a crowbar in the process. No! Had a crowbar? I can't remember. Uh, Felif had a crowbar. Uh, not anymore. Not anymore, he don't. He'll have to restock when he gets back to town. Uh, if we ever get back to town! The way it happens while, while on the session I wasn't there? Uh, no, it was the session before that. You were definitely there, you were, you were pulled into the statue, and it... Um, yeah, I think you were following me. Yeah, uh, probably. You found a strange skeletal creature with a large metallic protrusion coming out of the back of its head and swiftly knocked its head off and have now put the head in the bag of holding. Uh, Romad drank from the fountain, which had issues. Uh, you heard a loud, clunky uh, creature making its way through the Tomb of Annihilation as you... Uh, had your night's rest and it descended down a hidden set of stairs uh, the following morning you explored some of the hidden passages you had located um, one of them opening into a tomb the other opening to a flight of stairs you explored the tomb uh, defeated some whites that stood within it uh, opened a sarcophagus and found the remnants of Obalaka, one of the gods of Omu, and his item that Romad picked up, uh, which was a ring of protection, offering Romad some much needed uh, armor. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> My armor class is at 13, okay? Uh, Obalaka now inhabits. You, you say that like it's lots. <laughs> <laughs> Obalaka now inhabits uh, Romad's mind. Great. Uh, saying that he is interested in getting revenge on... Uh, the Dark One that slew him and his... Uh, the other trickster gods. Uh, at the end of the session, uh, Riordan attempted to stealthily experience the staircase and experienced many of the stairs on the way down. As, oh, yes. as, as he slipped and fell down the stairs. Uh, meanwhile, Seraphine, uh, Renala, and Theodas, none of whom are here today, uh, went to examine the other hidden door, pushed it open, and set off a trap that exploded in their face in a literal fireball sense. Uh, 
Um, they suffered minor burns, um, and Torin Vasudhasegyesh disabled this trap by removing the flint from the flint and steel on top of the door. Meanwhile, Riordan currently lies at the foot of the staircase in a room filled with tomb dwarves who have thus far been rather eager to show him the traps they have designed and at the very at the very end of the session uh, the mysterious set of doors slid open with a sort of hissing uh, release of steam and smoke stepped forth a large armoured uh, creature resembling a man in a spiked suit of armour Mm. Uh, so early, yeah. it it looks to be a similar creature it might or might not be the same one and he stomped out of the uh, coffin slash iron maiden contraption that he had been in and he looks and he focuses on Riordan and that's where we begin well we're gonna die. I don't know about we. Yeah, we do. We're down there. <laughs> hmm. Well, I, I've got to, I've got to give it to you guys. That that is rather impressive. Yes, that, it is. That's a that's a hmm. And and what do you what do you call it? Oh well, it's a guardian. Guardian, and what does it guard? The tomb. Oh, so the actual tomb. Yes. Or the whole place. The whole complex. We oh, have complex. many of them. Does he clean as well? I've seen so much clean. Oh no, we clean. Well, fair enough. I suppose that, that takes that takes the necessary. But, but surely that takes up your time. You should you should really hardwire this thing to clean up after himself as well. Oh no, we we enjoy cleaning our traps. We have to reset them after all. I see. Yes, of course, of course. And that's where we get the parts to make more guardians, anyway. Oh, oh. That, that makes that makes a lot of a lot of sense. Um, yes, yeah, I can I can see where you've been doing a lot of very good work here. And uh, I think I'm going to going to going to leave you to it. I don't think so. Oh, I'd like to turn tail and run at this point. <laughs> Guardian, get him. <laughs> Guardian, keep up. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go by him. Roll initiative. This is where the Holy rock. Holy mother of God! Uh, so wait, I don't spot my token. Where am I? Uh, we'll deal with. <laughs> <laughs> we'll deal with everybody else momentarily. <laughs> I'm just sort of currently out. screaming up the corridor. Stranger danger! It's... Stranger danger! Um, I have it's a like question, Ben. I have a question. Did in the last session where I wasn't there, did Riordan prove to be sturdier than the last time? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because Riordan got a mystery about going down in one turn. Okay. Uh, yeah. as apparently it reacts faster than you do. <laughs> clunk, right. clunk, clunk. It wanders over towards you and just slams its fist down upon you twice. Uh, for a nine. A nine misses. And a nineteen. I wish I could say that misses. <laughs> uh, so that's 14 bludgeoning damage. Okay, I'm using the roll 20 um, character sheet. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, I can open up the... I've got the... Right. I'll adjust this one. I was starting on 30. At least according to this sheet, anyway. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, 14 bludgeoning damage. Uh, and that is its turn. Wonderful. 
I would like to use my staff of striking upon it. <laughs> okay. Smack a doodle. Uh, that will hit. Thank God. <laughs> oh my God! At least his armor class is not that bad. Okay. Uh, so that I'm is seven. My... Yep. Yeah. I'm going for my second attack of Wackadoodle. That will hit. Thank God. <laughs> then I'm going to spend a key point. <laughs> okay. So I can try to hit it again. This time I'm going with the unarmed attack because I. Uh, yeah, with Flurry of Blows, you have to. I'll say it again, that'll hit. Okay. And then I'm gonna go with another Smacky Doodle. That one, not so much. But during that one, I'm going to then go and run up the stairs. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35 gets me into the corridor. Okay. Upstairs. <laughs> and I still have. Let's see, so that adds another 10 feet on top, so it gives me another 25 feet to run. Okay. When I get back upstairs, can I see the others? Because <laughs> I'd kind of like to run in that rough direction. <laughs> Wait for the map to load. Huzzah. Ah, no, token. Right, so was that me up all the stairs or just that far? You are that far up the stairs. Okay, so I have another 25 to go, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Just to randomly appear behind you for a little bit. Big, big, ha, scary, ha, metal thing. Everybody else uh. can roll me initiative now, please. <laughs> Yay! Do I need to roll again? Nope. Uh, <laughs> no, you're keeping what you've got. <laughs> I, I just need to give your, your this level token the same initiative as your downstairs token. So I just have a question. Uh, how, how hurt is Riordan when he comes back? <laughs> well, I, I can let you know that I am roughly down about 11 HP. In grand total. Yeah, so if the second... Um... No, not that 11 HP, that doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. I my damage. apologies, I took 14 damage. I hit the wrong button and when that... No, not 20. I have to be down to 16. I am... My apologies. Uh, I am it's... down 20... <laughs> 21 points of damage. Okay. I am currently on 16 HP. I'm looking very healthy. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, I need to get my head back into order. Why am I fighting straight away? Oh yeah, I was an idiot last time. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this happening? Oh yeah. Why is this happening to me? Oh yes, it was all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I don't like to admit it. <laughs> that was so British. I don't want to admit it. God. Uh... That's not British, that's more like Towie. <laughs> Okay, so is that everybody that can roll their own initiatives rolled? I believe so. I think so. Uh, I don't have a Romad on here. Well, I can roll I again if I get a bit higher. <laughs> what did you roll for your initiative, Romad? Good night. Good night, mate. <laughs> ah, twinsies. Twinsies. <laughs> Twinsies. 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 God, the music is working very well with this. Right, I think I made it angry. Now, can someone kill it? <laughs> also, trap makers down there. Maybe we could hold on to one and kill the rest. And make that one eat the rest because of what he just did to me. <laughs> not making any sense, Riordan. While this has been going on, I just want you to know I've been writing on my new notebook. <laughs> uh... And I'm painting. Oh, that's why I can't see Theodas. 
Theodas is underneath Tammy. What? Oh, How dare you! I will fight. I will fight to the death. Foriana, <laughs> Foriana. Okay, so at the end of Riordan's turn, it's Renala's go. Mm. Uh, and Renala not seeing a monster to attack at the moment uh, is gonna five uh, she doesn't really want to get in front of it so she's gonna healing word at level three Uh, so that is 13 points of healing to you, Ben. Oh, thank you very much. Takes me out to 20... Yeah, 29. 29. I'm literally having to double-think everything which I do now. <laughs> uh, then it is for Leaf's go. Uh, so, the enemies are downstairs. But, uh, so, I guess I... Okay. Uh, Philip will get in front of the stairs, uh, and I will ready an action for raging when the enemies uh, are five feet from me, uh, so that he can be ready to actually hold them off. Okay. Uh, Seraphine is gonna look at Renala's character sheet for some reason. Uh. Seraphine is going to prepare an action to cast uh, to hold dissonant whispers until she sees a target. And Theodas is going to come over and stand behind his wife here. My wife. My wife. And draw his bow out and do a very similar holding of the action until he sees a uh, enemy target, which will be difficult given the, the way that this tunnel is. Yep. Uh, on the Tomb Guardian's turn, the Tomb Guardian <laughs> moves to about here. <laughs> and will then take... Actually, he will... Jumanji! Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. And now to see this is that he is, he still does weird. This it, is where he uses the laser cannon. It will <laughs> dash five, ten, fifteen. <laughs> Just to close the space. Torin Vasu the Sergiesh. Uh, Actually, well, Felif, your held action. Your held action will go off at this point. Yep, that triggers it. Uh, so, raging. Okay, which damage is related? Okay, we're raging. I'm on a wave. As a question. Does he have that much range? It took me 60 feet to get to where I'm standing. He Did dashed. He really the... uh, yeah, he didn't okay. take... <laughs> he didn't take a uh, attack I action. A I forgot there was a thing. Yes. <laughs> I forgot what other people could do that to keep up with me. <laughs> but he has no soul. Or does he? Did they sell one of those in as well? <laughs> Waiting for Philippe to roll an attack. Yep. Uh, sorry, but I was loading. Um, <laughs> so then he goes with the uh, strike. So I'm not that necklace. Uh, you just clang the halberd into the armor twice. Oh. Apparently, you really wanted to roll a nine this round. Yeah. Nine. Just nine. Uh, I mean, it means on the dice that I rolled a freaking three two times in a row, just insulting the Dragon bait will move up. Uh, but, um, my 
Yogo! <laughs> huh. Where is Yogo? Oh, I just skipped Yogo. It's Yogo! <laughs> It's, it's it's your go, Torin Vasut no. Sergiesh. It's like days of the end. Jesus Christ. Hello. 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 So everyone, Hello. everyone went quiet for me. So. It your go now. now. It's my go now. Yes. So there's nothing much I can actually do, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult for us close range combatants. Dragon bait looks over to you and like, yeah. I mean, technically, I can share a square so long as I don't end it there. True. Mm, mm, mm. So, this is going to be a bit of a waste. Actually, then again, actually, we're going. Yeah, 15 feet. And there, and there, and there. Yeah, I can do that. Um, so, I am going to run to there. I am then going to... Uh, 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 misty Step <laughs> to there. Actually, no, correction. Scratch that. <laughs> I'm going to run. I'm going to run to where Philly is, and then Misty Step behind him. Okay. And then I'm going to attack his face. The the back of his face. The back of his face. Specifically, the back of his face. Roll with uh, advantage. Roll with advantage. I put advantage on. I haven't put advantage on. Oh, oh well, that's the back of his face. The back of his face. I'm not going to question that. I'm sorry. The very back of the face. Um. So. I am going to roll. I'm not going to bother robbing Funk because I don't think. Well, I'm, I may end up robbing some Funk, but either way, twelve damage for that one. Sure. I'm assuming twenty. Is hmm? is your um is your Warhammer magical? Yes. Cool. That's my magic. That's does your that magic. That does indeed hit. Yes. I, I was assuming a 27. Yeah, tw tw um, 27 does hit. So I'm going to hit again. That one does not hit, I'm afraid. But at least I got one good hit. It has weak spots. It's on its armor. <laughs> Romad. Exactly. Oh, more just a big Okay. Um. Fuck. What the fuck am I gonna do? I'm just gonna, because I'm pretty much not gonna get there. It's pretty much like crowded. So I'm just gonna do a thing. Boink. <laughs> and just. Come Shadows in. wreathe around Romad's form. The light grows dark. Honest to God, though, I could have just—I could have just been part of the Raven Queen, with the Raven Queen, except for the um, Summer Court Queen. <laughs> Why did I not think of this? For the sake of doing it done well, I'm gonna say one thing: Golly likes this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to ask you some, John, later on. <laughs> just a thing later on. Real oh, dad. I can hear the, the fan fiction already. Okay. No, um, I, I thought of something else. Oh, right, fair enough. Okay. Uh, for the sake of where I am, can I hit him? Uh, you can. Uh, he will count as having... Oh, uh, no, he won't. Sod it. Yay. Yes, you can I hit like him. I like the sod it. <laughs> I'm going to try and swing him with my staff of hitting things. It's a fun oh, staff, yeah. that one. If roll 20 will acknowledge that I hit the button. Uh, that will miss. You just Dang it. slam into his armor. I'm going to try again. I just realized something. I don't think he wants to change that. I'm going to go around and use my fists. Because I think hurting my hands is so much better. 
Um, where is Tammy? Invisible thought... right now. So you <laughs> did the invisibility with. That will hit. Yay! And take this, do better. Ow! <laughs> no, you're meant to get hurt, not me. <laughs> okay, sod it. You and run into the room. You now run away. <laughs> Read and run. Token. <laughs> Follow. Follow token. Good token. Very good token. <laughs> Has token there token go. Yeah. Uh, Renala will lean round the corner and attempt a guiding bolt. Uh, that's not what I asked you for. That's not what I asked you for. That's what I asked you for. And the guiding bolt energy just crackles across his armour. Uh, Felief. Okay, I try to attack again, so his attention is still turned to me. You have advantage on this attack. Oh, okay. Uh, that will hit. Yep. Uh, and the second attack, do I get advantage still? Or do yep. I get oh, no. That will hit. Uh, so that is 13, 15. Uh, Seraphine, I'm going to move her up. Uh, does she, can she see from here? Can she see from anywhere without getting into range with the damn thing? No. Never mind then. <laughs> Seraphine is not stupid. Uh, Seraphine is... Apparently does have enthrall at two different levels. I don't know why that is. Because Bard, that's why. Yeah, apparently. Uh... Uh, she will sing a convincing song, Torin Vesuva Sergiesh, and give you um, bardic inspiration. Woo! Uh, Theodas is going to try and thread the needle and, and shoot a uh, longbow down there. And he hits. Nice. If only he was here for it, Barry. Uh, doesn't do much damage, but it hits. <laughs> uh, on the Tomb Guardian's turn, he's going to perform, just slam out both directions with his fists. Uh, Torin, that's a twelve, and Felief, that's an eight. Both uh, people wait, and I look uh, at him very disappointedly. So, so wait, the AC doesn't apply? Pardon? The AC doesn't apply? No, it doesn't hit you. He rolled a natural uh, one. He rolled a natural one. He rolled an eight. Two hit. Uh, okay. Torrin! Right. Hopefully, I'll be able to smack the shit out of him some more. Smacky yeah. boo! No! Nope. Uh, what's, the part against, what's the part of inspiration about again? What uh, roll a d8 and add it. One, Try eight. hitting the weaker parts of the metal. <laughs> Four! That, that wouldn't do either. Still doesn't hit. Well, it was worth a try. But you feel uh, inspired in your miss. You, you feel real, you know, good about yourself. Uh, to try again. There we go. <laughs> that that feels even better. And I'll be rubbing funk on this one. Will you? Yes. 
Uh, just fuck this guy and everything he stands for. <laughs> also, fuck that roll on your critical dice. Yes. Uh, so that's. I mean, you, you got two criticals in the two rolls, technically. And then I'm gonna rub some funk on it as well. Uh, how many second level spell slots do I have left? Anyway. You get two or three, I think. I have two uh, second levels. Two second levels. I'm gonna do a second level. And is he undead or a fiend? Uh, let me double check. He I'm is not. That's uh, so a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> He, he shatters. Down on his head and just his head slides into his chest. <laughs> uh, the armor just kind of crumples in on itself and slams apart. And as it falls away, you can see underneath it there is a uh, human form uh, that appears to have just been sewn back together again with like staples in it like holding bits of flesh together it looks like a weird Frankenstein creature I know the other. Torin would you like to go and kill some gods cause his maker's down those stairs well <clears throat> anyone else want to join me or yeah. Yeah. people are downstairs I think fleshy, <laughs> fleshy assuming, wars are going to be a lot easier. I'm assuming we're out of initiative for the time being? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I brought some friends to see the dwarves. <laughs> my uh, my friends draw draw traps lacking. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we go down there, there's no one there. Would anybody else like the... Oh. Uh, to, to 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 put themselves in the marching order, of Romad. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm still painting. But well, so I... when we get there, we have some constructive criticisms. <laughs> before, before, I yeah. get, before I do it, it's impossible for me to have like ripped, like the. Uh, um, I'm going there, so uh, I don't know where you want me. Oh. Well, they're going down the stairs here, Romad. Okay. Uh, just, just want to say that Torin kind of like tears the helmet off of it to take it down. <laughs> okay. We didn't see him that tries to take something, can only pull out a staple. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out hair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You've been putting people together with these, haven't you? <laughs> Right. Are not pleased at all. Oh, conveniently, I did actually put some of you in the right places. Huzzah! Some of you not, but. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say I got some of the marching order right. That's mm. okay, you can have me as the leader. <laughs> I know they all see me as that. Hi guys, guys. To be fair, it was actually it was actually Torin and Felif I got in the right place. Hey, you said it then. Oh. oh, that guy's not there anymore. Yeah. You're losing the plot. Oh no. I'm losing the plot always. You guys come marching like down the stairs, and there are five tomb dwarves. I brought buddies! Just hammering away at the stations they are stood in front of. We have some deconstructive criticism to give you. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, we're still up and take your punishment. We're, we're, we're still on the stairs, I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Someone get on your knees. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. They're just working away and mostly just ignore you guys coming into the room. Are we? That's are we good. on the map? Because I'm. I'm still on the other map. Yeah. Should be over here. 
No, we're nope. the... no, uh, I'm nope. still on the I'm, I'm still on the Here we go. <laughs> Mine's currently loading. Oh. oh, there we go. So I just Blackness into in. darkness into I walk into the room unstealthily as fuck, and I tr and I just lug the helmet into the middle of the room. Clunk 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 clunk. I have constructive criticism. Be <laughs> constructive criticism. If you're gonna do the joke, do it right. <laughs> I'm not trying to do a joke. <laughs> tink, 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 Wow, that rolls a long time. <laughs> they, they just ignore and continue working. Um, I'm going to pick up their helmet and I'm going to throw it out his face. <laughs> hey! And he's like screaming like, Hey, you listen to us now! He throws the, he throws the helmet at this guy smashes onto the workstation in front of him and he just turns around with a uh, draws a battle axe. <clears throat> huh. <coughs> we should keep well, one alive. Time um, for them to die. <laughs> um, I turned back to the guys and said we should keep one alive. Nah. Which one? Happy? <laughs> Grumpy? I, Grumpy. I just... Uh, uh, generally inquire. Who's in charge here? Torin? <laughs> to see if anyone oh. to see if any one of them points out another one. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant us. I was going to put my oh, hand no. up. I mean, <laughs> it By the way, I still have Shadow of the Moil on, by the way. I never really deactivated it. Yeah, it yeah. would still be going. still very happy about that. 14. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you are concentrating too much on throwing the helmet over. Sometime next week, Romad will get to do something. <laughs> John, please let me roll again. Nope. <laughs> I'm not being getting into the fight like Such is the way of the rolls of the day. Meanwhile, opposite end of the spectrum, Dragon Bait is like. Super excited uh, to go. Is that. He's, go he's going to be going before uh, you... himself. Is that everybody? He's currently he's singing in his own uh, his own language. <laughs> Does anyone smell ham and dandelion? What the fuck is these smells? <laughs> <laughs> it's ham and lemon cheese and brie. <laughs> uh, Dragon bait just pushes past everybody on the stairs, gets up to this dwarf. What what is the smell for? Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> It smells like a sewer. <laughs> Swings at it. Uh, deals a lot of damage. Uh, that's 21 points of damage. Oh, really? And then swings at it a second time. <laughs> that's also 21 points of damage. And... Seems to imply they're either fiends or undead. Ah. <laughs> Whatever they are, they're obviously weak. Uh, Dragon Bait smiles. Renala, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, can't actually get into the room, but will, because she's got the time, put a, place a hand on... Riordan's back. And oh, golly. heals you for another 11. Oh. Oh, thank you. Bring you back up to 37. That does. Uh, and then it is Riordan's turn. Okay. I have a plan. Everyone get out of my way. <laughs> that is the extent of my plan. You, you <laughs> can move through people. Yes. I'm going to charge up to this one here and strike him down with my staff of striking. Okay. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, could I also add a little bit of force on top of that? Uh, Do I have to hit that one sec? Yeah, it, it just hit the damage first. Right, there's the first damage and then there's the second damage. So that is one charge of the strike. Yep. Actually, surprisingly, it's automatically done that this time. Yay! Yeah, it worked. I'm going to go for my second strike. Cool. 
Uh, that will not hit, unfortunately. That, that's not as good as the first one. Dang it. Spending a key point to use my fisty sense. No. Nope. And that one will hit. Okay, this one's going for the nether regions. <laughs> that is five points of damage to the nether regions. And then I'm going to run back over here. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seraphine gets to here. Can see one of them and will use uh, Renala's character sheet again. God damn it. <laughs> Everyone duck. Uh, will attempt a dissonant whispers at level two, sure. And then I will look at the tomb dwarves and roll a wisdom saving throw. She passes. Uh, so that. <laughs> Tell that back Kenya, you know it. <laughs> Half of the damage. Felief. Kaboom. <coughs> okay. I shall assume I have a disconnected or something else. Oh, oh he's, he's that. That. That will hit. That will do damage. If you wish. That will not hit, unfortunately. You just slam into really? his armor. Another nine, really? Apparently <laughs> so. Torin Vasudasergiyesh. Ah. So if I go there, then I, I have advantage on that one. Yes. Because technically, he's being flanked. Even though it's... Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I, I slide across the table. <laughs> and then I'm going to attempt to smacky-poo them. Um, and I shall be rubbing funk upon this one. 22. Is that... that... Oh, that correction. I, shall, I shall roll that again, because obviously yeah. I didn't roll that with advantage. No, 22, that'll do. 22, 22 will hit. Are you sure that... I mean, just as well, I had that. Oh, the 21 probably oh, will. Oh, no. Horrible. <laughs> so, I shall do the damage. 16. And then I shall rub funk. Where's the button gone? There it is. And I shall do it at first level. Are they undead or fiend? They are, yes. Woo! 11 extra funk. And then I should get them again. Uh, there was a fucking advantage this time. Uh, Pasha. 15? Uh, that will also hit. That will also hit. And I shall also rub funk upon this one. How much funk do I have left? I think I have a fair amount. I do have a fair amount. I've got, I've got, I've not been using many firsts, so. <laughs> So I shall do another first. He is undead or fiend. And a seven. Is enough. Uh, this one, seeing this... I'm, I'm, I'm using the rest of my movement just to move there so I get people in my little thing. Okay. <laughs> this one, seeing the course of action that is happening. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. like a pansy. Uh, what is his movement? Probably... Th oh, 30 feet. Five... Sorry. How far did he go? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. This guy will swing at dragon bait. Dragon bait, no! Uh, not hit, and... Hit with that, though. Uh, so that is five points of necrotic damage. And Dragonbait needs to make a 
Uh, constitution safe? Yes. Which he does, and everything is fine. Theodas Laura Karen. Five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, runs down the stairs and will fire a uh, bow. Why can't he roll like this when he's here? <laughs> uh, Felief, the one in front of you swings and rolls an 11 and a 12 to hit, so, you know, real well. And Torin. That one, yes. Uh, so that is 11 points of necrotic damage, and can you make me a... Oh, on. No, it's not. I've got my Deathwalker's Resistance and Necronym. Ah, well, then it's uh, 5. And can you, uh, can you make me a constitution saving throw, please? Probably not. Uh, I shall take it off advantage for one. Uh, is then? That's fine. That's right then. Um, right, I am going to... So, five points of damage. Yes. Uh, so. It swung at you with a battle axe, and then it just slashes you with its claws, and you can just feel the life drain from you. Fuck you! Romad. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Hi, finally. Um, what's become of this guy? And uh, trying to blade it. Should I take an advantage? Because um, Philippe's there. Uh, Philippe is there, so yes, you can take it at advantage. Doink. That. Ta -da. That. Ooh, that. That will hit. <laughs> 20! <laughs> its head explodes. It's like you just walk it like it's like a walking shadow you see from like Romad. Uh Dragon Bay will apparently skip his turn. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Comes down here and swings twice. Hits twice. Deals a lot of damage oh, twice. Uh, so that's uh, 27 with the first swing. And 16 with the second. He is doing quite well at not doing quite enough to kill one of them. <laughs> 5, 10, 15... Uh, Ranala. Will hit. Ranala runs down the stairs, holds out, reaches out with her hand, and just a trail of vines with barbs and thorns just whips out slams down on the creature between dragon bait and Torin, and just <laughs> ends its life or unlife as the case may be <sighs> real dan okay i'm going to five ten fifteen Am I blind or is there nothing left within this room? One went out that door. Ah, okay. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I can open the door. Get on the floor. Can you do the dinosaur? Um, you mean debatable? <laughs> But, um, I mean, if, if nothing else, I really don't know if this is going to work out well for me. Hey, Golly. Yes. Tell him the joke. 
God fucking damn it, John's laugh. <laughs> Don't like it. Don't. Uh, oh, this is gonna work. So how wise they are. <laughs> he rolled a thirteen. What is your spell save DC? Twelve. <laughs> Dang it. Not funny. You obviously don't know good humor. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, she can just see it, so will dissonant whispers. At third level. Ooh, 21 points of damage. Let's see how wise he's feeling now. I'm sorry for the ruffling. <laughs> not very. That's fine. No, you're not. We know the truth. Uh, but that does mean, unfortunately, uh, he needs to move somehow. Available. Back towards Riordan. <laughs> it must move as far as its speed allows away from the uh, away from Seraphine. That was, that was a that was a mistake, then, wasn't it? <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Felief. We have an escapee. Can you hear us okay, Kobo? Chicken. Marco? Oh no. He's reacting. Oh. Hello, yes, I could hear you. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, so which direction do you took again? Uh, Riordan will point out that he ran off in this direction. The stairs! Okay. So I can actually dash. Um, so this way. So I, can, so I can actually, if I dash, I can actually get to it and open the door. Uh, do I need to worry any stuff to open the door? Nope. I do need to find the. Uh, description for what you see behind the door. One moment. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Candles dimly illuminate a cluttered office. A skeletal songbird rasps from a filthy cage in one corner. Other furnishings include a wooden writing desk, a tall-backed chair, uh, anatomical drawings sketched in charcoal hang on the wall behind the desk, Seated in the chair is the shriveled corpse of a humanoid wearing mouldy robes and a bronze mask sculpted to look like a frowning visage. Around the figure's neck hangs a black skull-shaped amulet and a number of severed hands crawl on the desk and floor around him. Uh, and as you enter the room, the dwarf is stood behind him, hurriedly telling him about you. And he is turning round to see that you have entered the room. And I'm just going to roll for all of his new friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no. How about you don't do that, John? Uh, sorry. I'm afraid he's bound by the law. There's only two friends, right? Just two? Nope. One. One. One friend. One friend. I just went onto the. I just went onto the stream to check the chat, and I saw no. <laughs> um. Hmm. I mean, on the upside, their hands. <laughs> uh, Felif, do you have any more actions you can do this turn? Um. I used my action to dash, so I don't think I can do anything else. Torin Vesu the Well, there's not going to be much I can do. Um, um, 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm assuming which way points down. Um, the problem is not much. Follow the can... screaming. <laughs> There's not much I can actually do though, is there? Because I can only misty step. Hmm. I could. Well, I'm gonna have to use my action to dash. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Um. Then do I miss this step? I shall leave it here for now. Okay. One of the hands jumps off. Starts clicking rhythmically. <laughs> yeah. You hear in the background. Do 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 do. God damn it! The understand is here. <laughs> I knew it. They're, all, they're behind it all along. Rolls no, rolls a seven to try and slap um, <laughs> for Leaf's armor. Now <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting the Bugs Bunny image in my head. And, and that's the moment. <laughs> that's actually the moment you realize Leaf is not wearing armor. <laughs> uh, the the dwarf. Uh, I've lost him. Where is he? Now you've lost him. Now we got our thrill down about it. <laughs> uh, the dwarf will take a little bit of time to say, Intruders! Oh no, crap, eh? <laughs> and swings. Ooh! Uh, so that's a 17, which I think misses. And a 24 that hits... That is uh, 11, 17 points of damage halved to 8. So 8 points of slashing damage on uh, Felif. Mm -hmm. And another... Hand just crawls across the room and natural twenty on the hand <laughs> slaps for leaf for one point of damage. I just imagine Philippe being you know, slapped and then he said immediately goes back to initial position. I just in a motion mechanical motion doesn't even get <laughs> what happened. Uh, Theodas is go and he moves 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Uh, damn it. God damn it. You guys move just too far. Five, ten. Romad. I'm um, one question before um, we do this. Uh, what is um, what is Lotus again? You know, Seraphine's friend Lotus. What is it again? Uh, a Chewinga. Uh, Lotus has not come inside the tomb. Um, I'm just taking. I'm, I just want a picture of it because I'm going to draw it. It is a. Sm I, I, I shall locate one. Oh, yes. Man. It is a small uh, black humanoid with a bone mask on. Think like the Manjis from Jumanji or the little. Um, like Kadamas from Mononoke. Yeah, or, or the uh, the ones from Moana that I can't remember if they actually have a name in the film. Uh, it's going to bother me now they do, but either way, I shall find that as well. Thank you. Uh, Romad. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to go to where they're going. So, hang on. Hang on. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 
guys. Mm, I'll stay right there. <laughs> behind <laughs> Real Dan. <laughs> Real Dan has seen a big puff of smoke uh, behind him. <laughs> there's just yeah. a there's just a black uh, shadow wreathing in flames with a large black shadow sword walks up behind you, Riordan. 